What's up, beautiful people? It's your girl, Intel. Welcome back to this episode of Your Self Love Diaries. This is your guide to really slaying life, starting over, and glowing up. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about something that's super, super, super important that is often overlooked, and that is celebrating your wins. Whether it is big or small, acknowledging your wins is key to fostering that self-confidence within yourself. I'm going to be sharing with you some tips and tricks on how to celebrate your wins and why it is so important for your overall well-being. Let's get into this. Let me take you back to a time so when I had first started becoming a content creator. Every single subscriber, every single comment, every single like felt like a huge victory. But because I was so focused on the next goal, I really took time to celebrate every single win because it is a big deal. Someone liking your video, 500 people watching your video. Do you guys know what 500 people look like in one space at one time? Like that is a lot of people. That means something. I know a lot of people talk about TikTok and 200 view jail, 200 view jail, but 200 people are a lot of people to be consuming your content, to be impacted by what you said, to be watching you, engaging with you. That's a big deal. And it's important to celebrate that. Can anyone else relate? Comment down below if you've ever been so busy chasing the next thing that you forgot to really take a look and appreciate your progress. So one day after getting a really, really big brand deal, my best friend was like, girl, let's go out and let's celebrate this. And it wasn't until we actually went out and did that was I like, wow, it felt so good to really just remind myself as how far I've come, to really celebrate this success, to really celebrate the fact that I've reached this milestone. This is a big deal. This is a really big deal. And it wasn't about the dinner itself. It was about recognizing the journey and the effort that I put in. And from that day forward, I made a promise to myself to always celebrate every single win, every single small thing. Gratitude goes a long way. You are giving yourself thanks. You are showing yourself that you are so grateful for the progress and all the effort that you put in. And let me tell you, it's a game changer. Celebrating your wins is not just about celebrating. It's the act of you honoring your journey and all the effort that you put in place to get to where you are today. Now, let's talk about some of my favorite wins that, sorry, oh, I'm talking about wins. Let's talk about my favorite ways that you can actually celebrate your wins today. One of my first tips to celebrating your wins because you matter and you are important is to treat yourself. When I first began my fitness journey, I used to be the girl that would be like, oh, I'm about to start working out. Let me get all these clothes. Oh, I'm about to start working out. Let me get all these sneakers. And girl, before you know it, I was so unserious that I didn't even end up wearing all the gym clothes that I had bought at the time. So on this gym journey, for all my gym girlies out there, one thing that I did was I had my five sets of workout clothes. And I told myself that if I made it through the week of working out, I would buy myself a new outfit. And that was my way of treating myself and celebrating my wins. And it's about holding myself accountable. If I worked out, I would get a new outfit. If I worked out, I would get a new outfit. And girl, it became so fun because I was working. I was like, oh, I couldn't wait to get my new outfit from Amazon. I couldn't wait to get this cute little outfit that I knew I would work out in. And it allowed me to build momentum and really just enjoy the process of going to the gym because I had something cute to work out in. At first, I just had black. Then I got pink. Then I got green. Then I got a little blue. And now I have a full drawer of a drawer of workout clothes that I actually use. You can treat yourself by taking yourself to your favorite restaurant. You can book yourself a relaxing spa. And if you're into shopping, buy yourself that you've been wanting for a while. If it's a new outfit, a new pair of shoes, a new gadget, you deserve it. So treat yourself for your wins. Another example of how to celebrate your wins is to share them with your loved ones. Sharing your accomplishment with your loved ones, allow them to also feel like they are a part of your success. They're like, oh wow, she thought of me. She called me to come tell me. Like, if they really, really love you, which they should, and they're gonna be so proud of you. So hearing that, maybe hearing the words of affirmation can actually keep you going. They might share with you different perspectives that they were thinking about you the entire way. Maybe you were like, like working on a really big goal and they were watching you grind and they were watching you study. Like when my mom was studying for her RN, I would watch her literally wake up in the middle of the night at 3 a.m. to about 7 a.m. to really study, do her notes, and then I would watch her go to school. So when she graduated with her degree, I was so proud of her and she shared that with me. She shared, she shared her journey with me and I was super, super happy for her success. So when you share your compliments with your loved ones, they feel like they are a part of it. It amplifies your joy. It 
amplifies your success. You get to receive some of that energy. It makes you feel a little bit more proud. I love sharing new things that are happening in my life with my best friend. I'm like, girl, we just got a red deal. Did you like, girl, she's like, oh my God, I'm so proud of you. And it's just like such a good feeling. And it, make, it makes me happy to have new things and good things happen to me. And it makes me happy to just know that I have support all around me. So you can share some things with your close friends and family. You can call them on FaceTime. You can probably, you could even set up an entire dinner where everyone comes just to celebrate you for graduating, to celebrate you for getting a degree, celebrate you for passing an exam, celebrate you for getting a brand deal, celebrate you for just doing something that you have been working at for a very, very long time. You can also share your successes on social media. Um, if you have a huge accomplishment that you did, write a story, do a post. It allows people to feel like they are part of your journey. And we all know everyone loves to be a little bit nosy. So sharing on social media allows people to come in and really just really see that you are doing great things in this lifetime and share that success with you. So they are allowed to also celebrate that win with you. When it comes to celebrating your wins, reflect and journal. Y'all know how much I love a journal. I really believe in you writing things down. It helps you to internalize the experience. It helps you to slow down the moment and really celebrate your win one thing i love about this is that i have a tons and i have tons and tons of journals from 2011 2012. i love to go back in them journals and see like i am doing now what i was thinking about back in 2012 and just to see how far i've come but in the moment like life is happening so fast it's really kind of hard to really just not hard but it's very seldom that we are sitting there reflecting on how far we've come every day i feel like this day <laughs> has its own its own obstacles its own things that i have to deal with but really reflecting and writing it down helps me to slow things down and see how far i've come in the progress that i've made so reflect on what you did to get there reflect on how you feel right now this not only helps you to celebrate your wins but it also helps to internalize your experiences you can also write a list of all the steps that you took to get to this accomplishment and you can also just write down how you feel how it feels to have this accomplishment this trick this trick right here will allow you to have more wins you writing down how you feel to have the accomplishment allows you to send your emotional state into this rampage state of feeling a good and when you feel good more good things come there's a power in your writing there's a power in your tongue the more you feel good the more you write down how you feel good the more you live in that feeling of feeling good more good comes to you i promise you the positive thoughts that you have that feeling that you have is literally steps onto the yellow brick road of eternal happiness and eternal peace you existing in that and really truly feeling your accomplishments and really truly celebrating your wins is only going to get you more wins i promise you that is the cheat code that is the code <laughs> oh girl okay next tip but maybe create yourself a celebratory ritual this is cute it's fun it's something that you do every single time that you have a win. Maybe it's playing your favorite song. Maybe it's dancing around the room. Maybe it's lighting a candle. It's something that you do every single time that you are celebrating your win. I know sometimes people go out to eat every time they have a win or they go have a drink when they have a win. Um, they might host a party when they have a win. I love to play Nicki Minaj win again. Ooh, cause I win again and I win again and I win again. Ain't tell me nothing about it. Your opinion is invalid. Go against me, then you made a mistake. I love that song and I play it every time I have a win because it's just like, ooh, and I keep winning and I win again and I win again. Ooh, I love that song. So create yourself a really dope celebratory ritual that is personal to you, that keeps you going, that allows you to really enjoy that win and keep it consistent keep it cute keep it fun and for my last tip is to give yourself some visual reminders of your wins for the days that you might not have it for the days that you don't believe in yourself for the days that you are feeling down we all go through these things it is life it is okay not every day is going to be a completely awesome amazing day even though i strive to have a lot of those some days i just don't have it and you might not have it either so it's important for you to give yourself some visual reminders of how amazing you are of how you have overcome things and how you might overcome today if you're not feeling it today you can have reminders that remind you that you can overcome today so allow yourself to see it put it in your phone whether it's taking a picture maybe create a wall of fame 
maybe you create a some sort of a visual slideshow of all your successes i used to have a little jar of wins where i literally would just write down whenever i'm winning and whenever i was feeling down i would go through and i'll read like oh wow i did this oh my god i collaborate with nars oh my god i just did l'oreal lux oh my god i'm taking care of my health today oh my god i worked out for 365 days this year oh my god i am i look so pretty like it was just a jar of the amazing things that I accomplished and it allowed me to just feel a little bit better like wow I have accomplished a lot and I have overcome some of these sad days and it will get better and yes it's getting really really good and oh my god it's getting so good and do you see when I did this oh wow I couldn't believe I could do this you couldn't tell me I was gonna do this but wow I did that and it just allows you to truly just reinforce how amazing you are because you are amazing I like to have all of my PR products just out it just reminds me of how far I've come between now and even last year. Like I had to start life over. I was not barely getting any PR. I was barely getting brand deal invites. I was barely getting any type of motion in my ocean. And so to fast forward, where I am literally closing down four figure brand deals. Where well, I'm literally closing down brand deals left and right. They are coming into me. They are flowing into me. I am knocking things down. My content has getting more amazing. I'm feeling more confident. I fell back in love with it. So just to see and receive different PR really just allows me to just know I'm on the right path. And like, wow, girl, you did that. Because a year ago, I didn't have any of that. So that sentence of really starting over, but also giving yourself visual reminders of how far you come are so important and celebrating your win um so define what that looks like for you and show up for yourself i also used to have a visual vision board i can show you right now actually but you can create a vision board and put it on your phone and when you tap it it changes so you can literally put your successes on to a screensaver add it as your wallpaper and boom you have your successes and your wins on your phone at your fingertips available to you now for the free 99 I'm giving you guys actionable steps. I'm giving you guys things that you can do today, right now, that can better your life at this current moment because you are worthy and deserving of living a fantastic life, the life that you have ever dreamed of, and I need you to get out your way and allow yourself the opportunity to do so. All right, beautiful. That is all for today's video. I hope that you enjoy it, but most importantly, remember to celebrate all of your wins. Remember to honor your journey and absolutely always remember to enjoy the joys of this lifetime. You only have one life to live. Please make this your best one. Please pour into this one. Give this one all that you got. And as you are doing that, remember to celebrate you because you have come too far. You have come too far to give up now. I didn't come this far just to come this far. Kim. Like, we didn't come this far just to come this far. And if you have come this far in the Self Love Diary series, you are a fantastic human being and you deserve to celebrate how far you have come. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. That allows the algorithm to continue to push my content so I can reach more people that are in need of this video with your help. That is your contribution. It is free. Just tap that thumbs up button. If you are feeling super, super generous and super, super full off this video, leave me a comment. I love your comments. They really keep me motivated. They really keep me in the know. And just let me know that you received this message, that I'm not over here just talking to myself and that you are enjoying this type of content. I truly, truly, truly love creating. I'm going to continue creating regardless because I love to do this, regardless if it's five people, 50 people etc so i would love for you to leave me a comment let me know how you plan on celebrating your wins and let me know which one of these tips might resonate with you whether it was you know doing a celebratory ritual whether it was sharing ones with sharing your wins with your loved ones whether it was treating yourself we love a good treat let me know in the comment section down below and if you enjoy this series and are continuing to enjoy it please hit the subscribe button so that you stay in the know turn on my post notifications that you never miss a upload and share it with your favorite friends they might be in need of a little bit of this in their life i thank you guys for tuning into this episode of the self-love diaries your guide to slaying life starting over and glowing up <laughs> have an amazing and fabulous day bye babe